Most schools have a pretty straightforward early action policy. Apply early, find out early, no commitment necessary. But some schools have different flavors of early action, and it's important to know how those work. There's something called restrictive early action. Schools such as Stanford, Georgetown, and Boston College offer this option. Restrictive early action means you can apply to other schools using only non-binding deadlines. In other words, you cannot apply early decision, that's the binding one, to any other school. But you can apply anywhere you like at regular and early action. Promising not to apply early decision to other schools is a pretty big sign to a college that you mean business and are seriously considering them. There's also single choice early action. Tulane and Yale are examples of school, schools that offer that. Single choice early action means that you are applying early only to one single school, whether it's early action or early decision. So if you apply to Tulane at single choice early action, you cannot apply early decision or early action anywhere else. Again, another way of showing a school that you mean business. There are some extra rules and some exceptions to this option, and those vary school by school. For example, often you're allowed to apply to another school's early but non-binding deadline if it's a public institution in your home state. Always check with a specific school to be sure of its application deadline policies. Both restrictive early action and single choice early action are still early action, so they are totally non-binding. You'll have until May 1st, the National College Decision Day, to, to decide whether you want to enroll there. Okay, that's it for the early action stuff. Check out my post at prepmatters.com backslash blog for more details or just email me. Good luck.